Let's take a look at the different platform variations. Again with Microsoft, the 9X and even Millennium Edition still re not rely on NetBIOS, LAN Manager, and the earlier versions of CHAP. And T-Systems require service packs to actually use NTLM version 2, and even then it's only functional in VPN scenarios. The newer 2000 XP and .NET platforms use DNS for resource location. This is actually a quite positive benefit. Before, they relied on NetBIOS broadcast or WIND servers, which created a lot of network traffic and the WINS databases would frequently get corrupted. DNS makes a lot more sense, but as a result, if there are older platforms on your network, these systems still have to talk those backward compatible, less secure, chatty protocols in order to communicate. Again, Linux, Unix, and Apple's OS X are certainly not immune from their own issues. If you enable NFS, Network File Sharing, the Unix version of SMB, the older versions are quite non-secure. You really want to look at the newer version of NFS version 3, and even then I don't quite recommend it in security-sensitive environments. You can implement Samba, which is an open-source, backwards-compatible version of SMB, or Microsoft's file and printer sharing capability. However, the version most commonly used still relies on an older NTLM, which means it's susceptible to hacking attacks. Finally, various versions of Linux and Unix enable certain different services by default. They're not consistent, and so it becomes a challenge sometimes to support different distributions, turning off the services that shouldn't be there and are vulnerable, and keeping the ones that are valuable activated.